liquid gel. Five weather edge today. Brought to you by New Way Auto. Hello and good morning, South Mississippi. On this Wednesday morning, it is a storm-free start. As a matter of fact, take a look at outside. We've got beautiful conditions, mostly clear skies. Uh, warm and humid, however, temps are in the mid-70s. But once again, I can't stress this enough, a storm-free start on this Wednesday morning. We do have areas of light patchy fog in the area, not so much here along the six southern counties, but as you start heading up towards Hattiesburg and towards the northwest, Jackson County, eastern portion of that, Pascagoula is down to three miles of visibility. Once again, temps in the average Averaging right around 75 degrees with humid conditions. The forecast for today, temps this afternoon, it's going to be a warm day, right around 82 degrees. Excuse me, rather, that is 84 degrees. We'll see the upper 70s, low 80s by midday, and then this afternoon we'll max out around 84 degrees. Sunny conditions this morning with showers and thunderstorms coming in as early as late morning through this afternoon. A few storms could linger this evening, but otherwise than that, we'll be under uh, partly cloudy skies overnight. Temps dropping into the upper 70s by mid evening. Evening. By tomorrow morning, we'll be right around 74 degrees with our southeast wind switching back towards the east. Throughout the nation, you know, the past couple of days I've been talking about there's really no steering flow here along the Gulf South. That is because the jet stream is north and northwest of us. So when storms move into the area, they move away from that jet stream and they really don't have much of a steering flow. Hence the slow moving storms as well as the, the uh, torrential rainfall we've been seeing. As a matter of fact, we do have a couple of systems back towards the northwest, a trough of low pressure in eastern Texas, high pressure behind me over uh, the Florida Panhandle. Watch this trough of low pressure as it is moving very rapidly to the southeast. That will continue to move into our area, and the uh, the northernmost portion of that should skirt the extreme southwestern portion of Mississippi around the Pike, Walthall, Macomb area, and then uh, Pearl River and Hancock County. And once it does that, we will continue to see isolated activity this afternoon with a destabilized atmosphere and heating. Now, overnight, we'll see um, partly cloudy skies. Tomorrow, we'll see a secondary boundary develop over uh, central Texas and move east. That boundary should dissipate before it gets to us, but it will still affect us. And then by Friday, much drier conditions moves into the area. Uh, this front to the northwest retreats back to the north, and we have drier air coming in for Friday, Saturday, and even for much of Sunday. Doppler is not showing us anything here in south Mississippi, but once again, we do have some intense storms moving through central Louisiana, moving our way. Uh, choppy to rough conditions in protected waters. That situation will be easing through the day. Southeast winds 10 to 15 knots, to, uh, 3 to 6 foot seas for uh, the next, uh, say about the next 12 hours or so. Today's high temperature 84 degrees, a 40 percent chance for thunderstorms today. A lax in the uh, 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 a lax in the situation tonight with a 50 percent chance for thunderstorms tomorrow as well.